Right, so yesterday, famous classical guitarist David Russell posted this photo with the caption, Thumbs down for British Airways, they have decided this week to make it impossible to take your guitar on board as hand luggage. Warning to all traveling guitarists, don't fly British Airways. Now, I have flown with them quite a bit in the past because I like them, but also because of their proper treatment of musicians so far. So I was quite surprised to hear they did this to David, who's not only a guitar superstar, but also one of the nicest people I know. Therefore, I reached out to British Airways, to which at the time this video is being recorded, they had not responded yet. However, other traveling musicians have reached out to me in the meantime and confirmed that British Airways has had a change of policy last week and now categorically prohibits the carrying of guitars on board. Now, you might not think this is a big deal, but I think this can actually have disastrous consequences. Not because you'll lose us musicians as customers, but exactly because you won't lose all of us. Let me clarify. When you don't allow a musician to take their expensive instrument on board, although it clearly fits in the overhead compartment, you are forcing them to check it into the hold. This means that sooner or later, given the amount of passengers you serve, one of them will get broken by baggage handlers somewhere on one of your flights. If this happens to a regular guy, you might think this is not a big deal for an airline, although it obviously is to the person it's happening to. But sooner or later, this will happen to either a really famous person, for example, there was a famous incident with one of the guitars of Red Hot Chili Peppers being very graphically damaged at Edinburgh Airport, or to a really expensive instrument, think of a 3 million euro Stradivari violin, for example, or just to a guy who happens to write a really catchy song about it. That's right, United Airlines breaking the guitar of, at the time, not very famous musician David Carroll resulted in a PR nightmare that cost the airline incalculable amounts in bad press and is still haunting them to this day, eight years after the fact. His video has over 17 million views on YouTube, and ever since it went viral, United has been begging him to take it down using any means at their disposal. The funny thing is, this guy's entire career is now based on this one event, but do you really want musicians' careers to be based on creating bad press for you and your company? You see, by going ahead and keeping this new policy of yours, it is not a question of if, but of when this will happen to you. You are a flag carrier airline acting like a low cost out of a sudden. You will confuse your customers, many musicians will end up flying with you, getting their instruments broken and giving you all kinds of bad press, especially because musicians travel for a living. We get paid by concert organizers to take our expensive and really fragile instruments to different countries all around the world and play for their audiences. Our business model is heavily dependent on airlines, which is why we will have to deal with you and you will have to deal with us. Look, I don't know how many times I've flown with my guitar, but just taking a look at my email confirmation folder, I can tell you it's more than 500 times in the past few years, and I'm just one musician. Our instruments are a livelihood, and you are putting that at risk. Let me clarify, looking at my numbers for 2016, travel costs account for more than 40% of my total performance-related expenses. This means that if my travel expenses double because of having to pay for an extra seat every time I fly, this will not negatively impact my profits. This will literally put me out of business. This is the degree of importance we're talking about here. In addition, my guitar is by far the most expensive object I own. And if it gets broken, I mean, it's a handmade guitar created by a guitar-making family in Spain drawing on hundreds of years of tradition, and this is just my guitar. Some of these instruments we're talking about have been made by people that have been dead for hundreds of years. If they get broken, they can never ever be replaced. Now, before you go ahead and say guitars are larger than the regular hand luggage allowance and we cannot increase the hand luggage allowance for everybody, let me say this. There are different rules for different situations. For example, you're not allowed to carry another passenger in your lap, but if it's a one-year-old child, you are. You're not allowed to take containers of liquids larger than 100 milliliters on board, but if it's properly documented medication, you are. 
And likewise, you're not allowed to change your seat without paying a fee, but if you're a 15-year-old who has been assigned a seat in the emergency exit row, you are allowed to, and actually you have to, because you might have to operate that emergency exit. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that there are many ways to fix this, but the simplest one would be to include a specific exception for musical instruments that fit within the overhead compartment, like violins, violas, and guitars. Nobody is asking you to transport double basses within the cabin. We're talking about instruments whose size clearly allows them to be safely transported in the overhead compartment. Make this subject to a fee if you have to. I can book extra legroom. Why not extra overhead room? And look, if this is not something you can see yourself doing at all, let's just please have a conversation about this. I can think of three other ways to handle this off the top of my head. This is not an angry video. This is not a demand or a threat of any kind. It's just that this new policy of yours benefits no one. Neither you, nor the traveling musicians, nor your staff, who are just going to have to deal with an angry mob of people whenever there is a singer-songwriter on board. Or even worse, we'll end up with a bunch of checked-in instruments which will inevitably break sooner or later, causing you a lot of bad press. We are on the same team here. I'm just trying to start a dialogue. I have included my email in the description for this video, so whether you decide to reach out via social media, email, or in any other way, let's just please have a conversation about this. Also, wouldn't it be nice to have positive publicity about an airline's treatment of musicians for a change? When was the last time you heard that? Wouldn't it be nice for me to be able to write in my programs, Mircha proudly flew here using British Airways, the most friendly airline to musicians. I want to work with you and not against you. And look, in the past one and a half years or so, I have publicly thanked you after every single flight I've done with you, because you've been so nice to me and my guitar. Let's not change that. Let's have a conversation and work together to find a solution that works for all of us. Thank you.